Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be a timeless message for the collective. Let's see what's going on. I'm hearing bite size prizes, sweet bites. Something about bites, like small bites, or you know, like the um, you see that how that car is sticking out. We'll see. You know those um, uh, those like mini size Snickers and candies and stuff like that. Yeah, what what it looks up like? The Empress. Okay, I just did another reading, and the Empress came out, and that. Other reading, I don't know what I'm titled it yet, <laughs> but um, yeah, that this was the other reading was talking about glow up, but now we're seeing bite size treats, bite size sweet bites, like something miniature. So this could be celebrating small wins with the Empress, okay? Because this is definitely. Like, I'm feeling like this is connected to the last reading I just did. Yeah, like I said, in the last reading, it was talking about a glow up happening. Like, destined to happen. And now I'm feeling like this one is talking about the small rewards, the small wins. The battles. What do we have here? It's the Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah. With the okay, with the Empress and the Nine of Wands, to me, this is talking about coming out of like a cycle of battling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because to me, the nines represent like a karmic cycle. Until you get to the 10, then it's finally complete. You don't have to deal with that shit anymore. But I feel like once it's in the nine, it's like it's it's right there. But with with it being the wands, yeah, this is this isn't fun. And I don't know why. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm being drawn to the like the water. Under the broom, huh? Water under the broom, water under the bridge. So, the water under the broom, right? I don't know why I'm being drawn to that, but the wands represent fire. So, for you, for there to be like a wet wand, a wet wands, because it is really dripping from the back, too. For there to be wet wands, this is speaking about you overcoming something. You outing a fire that could have overtaken you in some way. Some sort of energy that felt more powerful than you. But once a fire, you know, is out of your control, it's like, shit, all you can do is, is get away. Right? But I feel like you somehow, some way, learned how to throw water on the, the, on the, on the wand. And the wand... <laughs> I, I keep stressing it because I know it's like, okay, yeah, you can throw water on fire and it goes out. Great. But I'm stressing that because it's like something about this wand. Like it, it was supposed to be everlasting. Like either someone was rooting or I, I don't know. There was like an energy attached to you that was just rooting for you to be defeated. All right. So when I say like what I'm stressing, like you outed this wand that this this wand is wet is because that wand was supposed to stay lit forever and ever and ever and ever you were supposed to stay in that karmic cycle but somehow you're you're finding the delights in life maybe that was the wand all right you know because sometimes i know i'm, I'm kind of i feel like i'm speaking in, in <laughs> parables or in, in metaphors and shit but sometimes that wand or that 
opponent really isn't an outsider. It could have been someone, someone. <laughs> it could have been something within yourself, right? So it could have been the energy of fear, the energy of overcoming a particular fear. I don't know, a fear of, of having too much freedom, a fear of not being successful financially, whatever fear that was supposed to trap you internally, eternally, you outed it. You found a way to, to finally, you know, stop that fire. And again, I'm, I'm, it's something about like this wand because he's holding it in his hand and this wand being like the closest to the puddle. So it's like you're holding it. This was a, this was supposed to be you looking defeated like, ah, oh, shit, with all these, these wands. But no, I feel like this is you. Like, no, you're in control now. You're in control of the fire stick. <laughs> yeah, like the Amazon fire stick. You in control. You, you make the plays. You change the channel when you want. You do that, okay? You make the selections. It's no longer a fear making you uh choose a certain thing making you act a certain way acting out of fear dang so we went from something small sweet small bites miniature to really when you look at it it, it was really a big win but i feel like just it's just it's small it's miniature now because you're just now learning to appreciate. You're just now coming out of the bullshit. So yeah, you're not gonna be like, are you like me? You you looking like this guy? Is the coast clear? Any more wands? <laughs> but I feel like once the ten of wands for you in this situation, once the ten of wands comes in, you would already be defeated. This wouldn't be a uh like an extra battle that spirit would throw at you. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Because usually, you know, you hear a lot of readers being like, the Ten of Wands is just ultimate defeat. But I'm feeling like if the Ten of Wands was to come at you at this point, it's like, what's one more wand? Then you know, oh shit, it's finally complete. Because there is no 11 of Wands, 12 of Wands, 13 of Wands. No. A new cycle begins. It goes back down to one. Well, it really goes back down to zero with the fool, but it goes back down to the ace. Okay? So I hope you understand what I'm saying. Is it like it, we started off as mm, cute, sweet, oh my gosh. But now I'm feeling like, nah, you realize just how much bullshit you put behind you. With this five of cups here. Look at that. Yeah. Water, 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 water. This wasn't supposed to be wet. This was supposed to keep you down and burning. And then you looked and you're like, well, shit. That happened. I conquered it. And what's next? And that's what I feel like this two of cups behind. Because we have the three cups in front where it's like, all right, that's done. But the two cups behind you, you probably looking over your shoulder like, mm, what's next, spirit? <laughs> but I feel like spirit is in it isn't going to traumatize you <laughs> the way you were traumatized before. Okay? It, it's, this isn't... Like I said, if you would... If you turn around and, and the, the two, two cups that's behind you, you know, even if it's a little sour in there, it's like you already... You already progressed. So it's like, what the hell? You know, you, you're not going to feel as defeated. There's something about you just accepting, like, Life happens. It's no longer a big defeat. Oh my gosh, you know, I can't take it. This, this, if one more thing stress, stress me out, I'm, I'm gonna go crazy, you know? But I, I feel like you're at a level where it's like, oh, shit happens. And you really grew up, progressed, expanded. Like I said, outed that wand that was supposed to be internal and eternal and like i said if this one wasn't excuse me if this one wasn't um just you 
this one with someone else you know they they were trying to keep you down you realize hey at the root cause that wand was just fear it was a lack of knowing a lack of experience a lack of having better so even still you took accountability this is small wins small wins but i feel like you're not even realizing how big of a battle you just defeated. I don't know why I'm hearing dreams. Something about your dreams. You're going to realize how big of a battle you fought in your dreams. That's a... Okay, damn. Damn. That's another thing. Now you're telling me... Uh, you mentioned spiritual warfare. Like, you ever... put Just put it like this. You, you would really be fighting battles... In spirit that you don't know you're fighting and it, it will manifest as picture it like this in spirit there's people with people with armor and and gear and all types of shit like there's real armies battling boom, boom, boom. but in the physical it can manifest as someone talking shit to you someone where you, where you think is small that's why I'm saying small wind or small battle. It will manifest as something small as someone talking shit, someone doing something behind your back, or I don't know, someone makes some sort of error or whatever directly. It will manifest as something small on the physical, but in spirit, you are fighting. So I feel like your dreams are going to show you like, oh shit. That's what you was fighting against. That e internal, <laughs> I was about to say eternal, that internal battle is, is going to be very clear in the, in the dream world because that's another spirit world, really. It's where we remove our perceptions. All right, that was that was deep already. So yeah, some of you fought a, fought some some battles. Queen of Swords in reverse. Damn, Queen of Swords in reverse with the Two of Wands upright with the Ten of Swords in reverse. What? This is some battle, <laughs> heavy battle. Okay, but like I said. I'm feeling like this Queen of Swords is in reverse because you don't even know you're fighting that hard. Like you just, your your fight might be you standing up for yourself verbally. You might not like physically fight this person, but you know, your fight might be you speaking up or just doing something to let it be known. Like, hey, I'm not fucking with that. But you doing that in the physical is just like, a manifestation of how hard you've been fighting in the spirit okay because there's there's something in your spirit that triggered you to finally vocalize in this physical world of you know what i'm saying so something like i said you fight in the spirit and your higher self this ain't just your your ancestors and your spirit God know this is your higher self letting it be known. Hey, physical self. <laughs> I'm not going to say lower self. Hey, physical self. Uh, we fighting over here and you need to like celebrate. So I feel like physical self, your higher self is sending physical self triggers like, hey, I don't know why, you know, this could be like, get something sweet to eat. Because we did talk about sweet bites, mini treats, and them, them um, mini Snickers and shit. So you might want to, you might have cravings, right? So let me, let me say it again. Like your higher self is saying, whew, I don't work so hard. I deserve a treat. So now you're craving candy. Now you're craving something, I don't know, whatever dish you like. Or now you're craving a massage. Now you're craving a spiritual bath. You're just craving some sort of treat 
to yourself. And I feel like that is a trigger from your higher self saying like, hey, we, we, we done fought. <laughs> we done fought. Okay, and we need to treat. Okay, oh, you see how that flipped out on my, on my, uh, my Neo? Oh, wow, 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 wowzers. So we have her counterpart over here. So we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, and we have the King of Swords upright. Yeah. yeah, this is definitely going with the other reading as well. So, um, I don't know how I feel about this. Because I'm feeling two ways about this King of Swords. I feel like, oh, wow. Okay, for some of you, I'm not feeling too good about it. If this could be like, you elevating spiritually and like your your energy is just going to start to trigger more people in the physical that's why this is upright because it's like it's almost like the battle isn't done <laughs> that's probably why you're not celebrating too big yet or too heavy yet um but on the flip side i'm feeling like this this is someone coming to your defense for some of you Okay, so this take it take it how it resonates. This is a collective reading. Um, I'm feeling like your energy is gonna obviously trigger more people and irritate them, so they're gonna do more bullshit in the physical. But I'm also feeling like that's also gonna trigger someone coming to your defense. So take it how it resonates, because it could be one the other or both i'm gonna say it again this could be just more people attacking you and you're just gonna have to you know tough this one out on your own or this could be someone coming into your defense or this could be both more people attack you and then all of a sudden someone comes to your defense <laughs> all right so take it how it resonates i don't know your situation Let's see, what else? Dang, the emperor. Ooh, the emperor and justice. This is juicy. This is juicy. Oh my God, what is this? I feel like a spy right now. <laughs> Damn. No, 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 no. What the fuck? I can't make this shit up. No, this got to end. Okay, whoa. Whoa. No. Collective, what the hell is going on? This is four major arcanas. Back to back to back to back. So what... Actually, it came out like this. Boom. I saw the emperor first, right? So the emperor... This could be, damn, I'm hearing this person comes off as a tyrant, but they're coming to your defense. What the hell? Because after that is the, the justice card. Okay, let me, let me, let me gather the stories here. Because like I said, this is a collective reading, so take it out, it resonates. But <clears throat> like I said, which situation, you got to pick a situation. Whether you gonna have to fight this battle, you know, alone for now, or someone's gonna come to your defense, or both, or where you're gonna have to deal with more bullshit, and then someone comes to your defense. But after that, the emperor came out upright, and I'm feeling like this this goes more with the uh, king of swords, the emperor and the king of swords. This is, that's, I'm not even going to lie. If this was together in the reverse, I feel like that's a dangerous, <laughs> that's a dangerous situation. The king of swords and the emperor, first of all, the emperor is all of the kings in one. But the emperor to resonate more with the king of swords is very dangerous. 
So I'm feeling like this person who is going to come to your defense might come off to other people as a dangerous tyrant. But there's something about you that they're like, uh-uh, they're not taking it with you. Because right after that, upright is the justice. I wish, yo, woo, I wish you guys could feel like the, the energy <laughs> that I feel in my body right now. Right after this is the justice card. So didn't I say someone coming to your defense? There's, there's some sort of battle that's going to be evened out somehow, some way. All right? It's, it's happening in the spiritual world, in the spiritual planes. But it's going to manifest soon in the, in the um, physical. But like I said, this person who is going to come to your defense, is, is they are feared by a lot of people. Okay, this, this person is feared by many. I don't know if they actually did some shit in the past. Because like I said, the emperor and... Hold on. I don't want this to cut me off. The emperor and the king of swords together is highly, highly dangerous in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, because this is someone who will who will kill. I'm not even gonna lie. This is someone who will kill. Okay, and I'm feeling like I said, I don't know if they did something in the past, like they actually, you know, hem somebody up in the past. But like they are feared. They are feared by many. This is like having the best freaking um purple heart army soldier sergeant whatever the fuck on your side because then i say spiritual warfare i got i definitely got a pull from this oracle deck i definitely said spiritual warfare this is a uh i don't want to keep calling them a tyrant but god damn they come off as that but there's something something about you and your situation that they recognize is so completely unjust and they are ready to fight on your side because god damn it didn't i say look we had the emperor we had the justice and then right after that was the star upright so i said what um collective like i said what is it what's so special about you <laughs> what's so special about you that make them like uh-uh you ain't about to mess with this. No one puts baby in the corner. That's the vibe I'm getting. No one puts baby in the corner. Okay? Because right after that, my little starlight darling sugar pie, that's what I feel like they're they going to start calling you. Shit like that. Cutesy pootsy ass names when this person is a fucking... Crazy motherfucker. <laughs> I don't mean to keep saying that, but hey. Anyway, like I said, there's something about you that they are willing to say, uh-uh, this one can't can't keep going through that. Because this is the death card in reverse. They said this one is not going to keep having to face these same stupid ass cycles. I'm going to put this cycle to a final ending. Whoa, this person is scary, but it's like, what? They really like you, though. <laughs> they like you. She. If you don't comment below, feel free to text me. <laughs> text me with the juice because I want to know who this person is in your life that is willing to just like sacrifice it all for you and this i don't i don't even want to say ride or die type of person but because i don't know something about that just is it's cheesy to me but i don't i don't feel like this person gives cheesy energy i feel like this person understands sacrifice it ain't ride or die it's i'm willing to sacrifice for you and when someone says that clearly and blatantly and just like that, that, that shit would be music to my ears. That would be music 
to my ears. All right. So collective, who the hell is this? Because I don't know anybody. All right. Your girl is chilling. <laughs> but collective, who is this person that is in your energy and said, you ain't damn. Even look, I know sometimes like my masculine watchers, right? It feels kind of weird if I'm talking about a relationship because I'm coming from like the feminine point of view and I'm saying I want the masculine, whatever, you know? But I'm feeling like this, if you're a man, yo, what the fuck? This reading, please watch the other reading. I don't know what I'm going to title it yet, but it's the one that I'm going to post right before this one, okay? Even if you're a man, you're in your masculine energy, this woman is willing to, I don't know, I don't want to say fight for you because it just feel, it feels cheesy for me. <laughs> it feels cheesy. But this woman is willing to like, battle for you i don't know if you're like i don't know if you might be you could you know you could be really masculine macho whatever but you, you just don't care to argue or you don't care to speak up about certain things well your woman will speak up about it your feminine partner will speak up about it because it doesn't have to be just a woman your feminine partner uh will, will most definitely speak up on your behalf of, on a lot of things I'm hearing the paperwork will will be good, okay? The paperwork will be good. What I'm trying to say is, I don't know if this person like you, like you, like that or whatever, but they like you, <laughs> okay? They like you, and like I said, there's something about you, little darling starlight, that they're willing to, to, to not be so fucking tyrannical. Is that a word? I think that's a word. They're willing to, to tame. You hear the words I'm saying? Tyrant, tame. Feared. Mm-mm. 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 Delicioso. <laughs> okay, collective. That is some good energy right there. That's a good protector to have on your side. And I'm not getting, it's not no weird, obsessed, like cheesy ass beauty and the beast type of shit. No, this is like this person genuinely cares. They just might have a hard shell or something about them is like, take no shit. Take no shit. And if, if you took shit in the past, they'll pick that shit up and throw that shit in someone's face. Okay? <laughs> they will They will do the return to sender that you didn't do. Shit. This, like I said, this person is feared by many. But when it comes to you, hmm. Let's see what the oracle, what does the oracle have to say? Oracle, whatever. I can't get over, I, I can't get over like this combo. The freaking emperor and the king of swords, I can, phew, they, they scurry. They not a scary hoe, they scurry, okay? Okay, let's see. <laughs> we have peacock, pimp, river, and lizard. River lizard. Isn't that a thing, a river lizard? Peacock, pimp, and river lizard. River and lizard. Hmm. Ooh, wee. Okay, peacock and pimp. So right up here, we have boasting, bragging. Because, you know, 
the peacock really shows his feathers when he's trying to mate. He's like, look at me, look at me, <laughs> look at me, look at me, feminine, look, look, look. So I feel like this person, no, not this person, people of your past or, or some whatever energy that you're getting away from, right? Whatever energy this wand was supposed to be was a boastful energy or it felt strong. It felt like it had a strong tie on you. Like you thought you would never be able to overcome a, cer a certain cycle. Right? But I feel like the boasting and the bragging of the past or, or that strong tie that held you down in the past is what triggered something to, to shine or triggered someone to come to you and see you shining. It's almost like I'm seeing like someone dusting off the diamond, like getting the dirt off the diamond. So even like I said, like I said, even if this was like a, um internal fear or internal battle, you know, you you could have been, you could be single and you just fighting this, but someone sees like, nah, I've been through that and I understand what it's like to be in that position and they genuinely want to help you. It's not, no, oh, I'm gonna do this because, you know, it's, it's a way of entrapping them. No, I feel like someone is genuinely seeing like whatever situation you were in is only gonna make you better because they know that at heart, you are the empress, male or female. You are this divine energy, this divine creator, this divine problem solver. And I would say I'm getting the magician energy. I would say like the divine problem solver is a magician, but I'm also feeling like this is going for the um, empress as well. Damn, wait a minute. Hold the heck up. Hold the phone, hold the phone. I didn't even realize that. We have the emperor and the empress. What the hell? We have we have two counterparts here. What the hell? I didn't even peep that. We have the empress, she was first, and then the emperor. Then we have the queen of swords and then the king of swords. We have two counterparts. Okay, collective. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like this is some, didn't I say the maiden call? Mm-mm. It's like whatever. <laughs> y'all, y'all was fighting some battles together, fighting on the same team spiritually. And now it's, it's, time, it's time to manifest physically. Okay, the, the maiden call is on. That's why this person is coming to your defense. Like they, they hear, they hear this, they smell it. They see the vibrant colors of your peacock feathers. Okay. What the, I really did not peep that. We have two counterparts, the emperor and the empress, the queen of swords and the king of swords. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, there, there's some divine partnerships. Even this, if, if this isn't romantic, you know, this could be like a really divine partnership that's coming into fruition. Okay, the mate, like I said, the mating call is on. Jeez. And then we have harem helpers options. So didn't I say this person coming into your defense is like, you woo them in, okay, into your energetic harem, <laughs> okay, and they turn into your helpers. So something about you is, is something about both of y'all or your group. I don't know. This could be more or more than two people. Something about some true energetic connections happening. And coming together. And then we have, damn, I'm mad I didn't realize that. That's really deep, though. Two counterparts. Then we have River. 
So spiritual teaching and learning. And didn't I say spiritual warfare? That's the very first thing I put here. Spiritual teaching and learning. <laughs> Baptism, spiritual cleansing. So purifying. Again, this is like treating yourself. I'll be, I don't remember that song. I'll be down by the river. Waiting for the good Lord to come my way. Yup. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. You see, I was talking about the vibrancy and colors. I hope you guys can see it though. Because look at this here, right? This is Peacock. I was talking about the vibrancy and the colors with the Peacock and Pimp, right? But I actually put vibrancy, colors, and spark on river. So that just goes to show you another divine counterpart. So now, I'm, fuck it, I'm going to say three. And no, fuck it, I'm going to say four. Why? Because isn't a river lizard a thing? <laughs> I know I'm not bugging, man. I know I'm not bugging out. I feel like a river lizard is a thing. Okay, so that's another divine counterpart right there. Like, shit, some reptiles really like to live by the river, by the water, and shit like that. So, long story short, because I don't want to make this reading too long. I'm just feeling like there's some deep happenings. This It's not no... No superficial connection is coming. And you're going to wonder why. Well, shit. I told, I'm telling you why. But anyway, you're going to wonder why. I'm like, Why is this person, like, always defending me? Why is this person always, you know, just checking up and making sure, making sure shit is in order all the time? There's, there's something about this person being in order. There's an order to things. Because think about it. Peacock, all right? There's an order to the maiden call. If you ain't flashing them feathers, then what, what are we doing, right? And with a pimp, <laughs> unfortunately, if there's no order to, you know, his system, then what is he doing, right? <clears throat> and with the river, there is kind of a, a order to the direction that a river flows, right? So with that being said, this person is coming in with order. Fuck it. Clarify it right here. <laughs> say less. Say less, Deandra. Look, the justice card. The justice card. Order. Order in the motherfucking fort. Hold on, let me, let me. This is this is my Aroke, but I'm gonna say it's a gavel. Order! Order! order order all right this is this is this is the uh tool of spiritual justice if i have to ring this on a bitch you, you done went too far because the first option the first option is really for me to to ring the bell which is on my ancestor altar so if i have to ring the aroke on a bitch you done went too far you done went too far so i feel like this <laughs> Whatever spiritual warfare you were going through, that energy don't went too far. And you learn how to conquer it on your own and fight on your own. But shit, that someone's coming in that's going to fight even harder for you. Okay? So fear not. Fear not. Other people will have to fear this person coming in that's going to defend you. Because they are feared by many. But you, my little darling starlight, beautiful, vibrant one that I'm shooting my shot at mating call with my nice, big peacock feathers. You fear not. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy. If you want to book a personal, all that is down below. Fear not. And be best like Melania Trump.